Hi, my name is Joseph Park, the WWE Champion of the World, and you're watching Sporting Icons. Okay, so I see like a lot of uh, people asking who this Manuel Charfella is. Obviously, he's been linked with a potential fight with Tyson Fury. A lot of people do feel that Tyson Fury has had this plan to fight Manuel Char for quite some time and is just using the name of Anthony Joshua as a way to say, well, I've tried to fight Anthony Joshua. This is why I'm fighting Manuel Char. Even though the whole plan was to fight Manuel Char, again, according to a lot of people. Not, not necessarily myself, but I'm not against that uh, particular scenario. Tyson Fury's own brother, Shane, believes that Tyson will take on Manuel Char next. And Tyson Fury's friend, cousin, whatever he is, Andy Lee, former WBO world champion, current trainer of Joseph Parker, has said that Manuel Char is a very credible opponent for Tyson Fury. So obviously a lot of people are saying, who's this Manuel Char fella? Now, I first became aware of Manuel Char, and believe it or not, his Wikipedia, I actually um, kick-started his Wikipedia page True story, I did. Um, when I first became aware of him, when he gate crashed the um, David Hay press conference and says, when I defeat Vitaly Klitschko, I want to take on you, David Hay, next. I think David Hay was about to fight Derek Chisora, if I remember rightly. Anyway, Manuel Char, he went on for uh, Vitaly Klitschko. He got bashed up in that fight. He really did. Um, they stopped it due to uh, bad cuts and everything, but Manuel Char, real, real warrior. We can certainly say that about uh, Manuel Char. Now, he's currently 37 years old. He was born in Beirut in Lebanon. Um, his nationality is German and Syrian. And one of the things that um, I liked about Manuel Char is that as far back as to when I first became aware of him, all of his fights, he always donates a percentage of his purse to the people of Syria. Obviously, they've been going through uh, some tough times over many, many years now. So quite clearly, he's a very, very generous Good guy, right? So, so that's Manuel Char. Now, as far as his record is concerned, listen, he has the best record in the world, but he has fought some decent opposition. Now, he was the WBA regular world heavyweight champion. He defeated um, Alexander Ustinov back in 2017. Now, this was a time when the WBA regular World Heavyweight Championship was like a hot potato. It was like Lucas Brown had it, and previous to that it was uh, Ruslan Chagayev, and then it was going to be uh, Shannon Briggs, and people were failing dope tests here, there, and everywhere. And of course, Manuel Char, he was under the microscope for that as well. Anyway, he, he ended up winning the um, vacant WBA regular World Heavyweight Championship after defeating Alexander Ustinov, okay? That was back in 2017. He never once defended that belt until he got stripped of it in 2021 when he was meant to be taking on Trevor Bryan, who was somehow uh, Don King managed to maneuver Trevor Bryan into that position to fight Manuel Char for that belt and politics and whatever else. And basically they got Manuel Char stripped, which is why Manuel Char, I believe, has actually been suing Don King and the WBA. Okay, but, but again, that inactivity from 2017 to 2021 in part, yes, you can certainly say that was some of his fault. In other parts, that's because of negotiations with uh, Trevor Bryan. But I suppose the biggest part is the fact that, that uh, Manuel Char got shot four times outside of a kebab shop in that period as well. All right. But leading up to then, he's a guy who got knocked out badly in 2015 by cruiserweight Maris Bradis. Knocked him out brutally. Alexander Povetkin also knocked him out. He lost to Yoan Duapa. How do you lose to Yohan Duapa? You don't lose to Yohan Duapa, but he did. But he did defeat, if you remember, Safer Seferi. That was Tyson Fury's comeback opponent, the second best cruiserweight from Albania. That was Safer Seferi, um, a guy who I was trying to convince boxers of Sky Sports to allow Stephen Robinson to fight Safer Seferi in Albania on the Florian Marku card. That didn't quite come off, but he was the first person to defeat Safer Seferi. So, of course, when you see Safer Seferi's uh, record when he fought Tyson Fury, he had uh, one loss on it. Well, that was to Manuel Char. Manuel Char, his best wins are probably a Dennis Baktov, maybe a Alex Leopai. That's kind of it, to be honest. And an and 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 Ustinov. But as I said before, he has been in there with Vitaly Klitschko. And he was meant to take on David Hay. They signed, they agreed, they were in the press conference, all that kind of good stuff. Then David Hay, he got injured, pulled out, went to reschedule with Manuel Char. Tyson Fury op offered up his services to fight David Hay. David Hay switched it to Tyson Fury. And of course, David Hay pulled out of that fight too. Okay. 
a lot of you will uh, remember those times. But anyway, after a, a long, long time, four years out of the ring, and then of course he gets stripped by the WBA, he takes on Christopher Lovejoy, who is 19 and 0. Christopher Lovejoy is a character in boxing for sure. He's playing the game and well done to him. He's out to make as much money as he possibly can. And Christopher Lovejoy made some decent money by fighting Manuel Char. Um, Christopher Lovejoy, of course, he'd been padding out his resume against some real, real obscure opponents. Okay, he's literally just been padding them out. He gets a Manuel Char fight, Manuel Char uh, stops him, which everybody expected him to do so. But he did that in two rounds. He tried to do a cartwheel after the fight, kind of fumbled that one quite badly. But um, more recently, back in May, he took on a guy called uh, Nikola uh, Malik. I don't really know who he is. He sounds like he's Croatian or something. I don't know. 21 wins, two defeats. But Manuel Char of today is not the Manuel Char that took on Vitaly Klitschko. He's not the guy who was meant to take on David Hay. He's not that guy. He hasn't been that guy for a long, long time. Alexander Povetkin pretty much ended that one. Losing to Yuan Duapa and getting badly knocked out by Maris Bradis put brakes on all of that. So, is Manuel Char a worthy opponent for Tyson Fury? As per what Andy Lee says. No, he's not. He's not, he's, he's not even ranked in the top 15 of the WBC, and nor should he be. Manuel Char of today, listen, he ain't old, he's what, 37 years old, but he ain't very good now. Anybody who who has watched his career, will know that one time, yes, he was a warrior, but he ain't that good now. He isn't. He's been past it for a long, long time. He's the kind of guy that prospects like David Adelaide, Johnny Fisher, uh, Stephen Robinson, uh, Fabio Wardley, uh, Alan Babich, and these kind of guys should be looking at Manuel Char. He's that kind of guy. He's the kind of guy that had he fought Trevor Bryan, and we all know how bad Trevor Bryan is, that was probably a 50-50 fight. That's how bad he is. So for Tyson Fury to grant this guy a world title shot, if of course it comes to that, is disgusting. It is disgusting. I mean, can you imagine if Anthony Joshua's comeback opponent is Manuel Char? I know Eddie Hearn joked about that's what they were looking at. No. But even then, Anthony Joshua's coming off two losses isn't he? So again, you could kind of give him somewhat of a pass, have an easy, an easy win back. And that's what it would have been. An easy win back. So for Tyson Fury to give this guy out of all the opponents that he could possibly fight, this guy, it's terrible. It's disgusting. For him to even be in the conversation is disgusting. Manuel Char is not a contender. He's not a top contender. He just isn't. He never really has been, if we're being honest. Even now, I don't really know how he managed to get the Vitaly Klitschko fight. I'm not too sure. David Hay was only going to fight him. Again, this was on David Hay's comeback. No, sorry, um, before his comeback. And this was more about um, Manuel Char. Um, or David Hay, sorry. Cherry picking. David Hay was cherry picking around that time, if you'll remember. Manuel Char, it was tough back then, but... He ain't anymore. He isn't. When you're getting knocked out badly by Maris Bradis and Alexander Povetkin, nothing wrong with that. Of course it happens. But to lose to Yuan Duapa, that's bad. That is really, really bad. It is. And of course, he's only really been taken on journeyman in that since then as well. So to defeat Alexander Ustinov, Ustinov, this is the big guy. I know uh, Joe Joyce fought him, if I remember rightly as well. But Ustinov is like a, a, a slightly smaller version of of uh, Nikolai Valuev, if you remember him. He's that kind of guy. Okay, so Ustinov was never that good anyway. Christopher Lovejoy, again, as I said before, big up to him, but he's just been padding out his resume, looking for that payday. Manuel Char is the kind of guy that prospects should be looking at. Not a WBC World Heavyweight Champion. Of all the people that Tyson Fury could fight, a Frank Sanchez, a Ajit Kabiel, even that, as a caveat, I wouldn't be too happy about that. He could even have a fight with Daniel Dubois, in-house fight. A Arsenbek Makhmadov, who's now a top-ranked fighter. Of course, he's just defeated Carlos Takam. And see, there's so many different names that Tyson Fury could fight. Not Manuel Char. But again, is, he, is Tyson Fury potentially fulfilling a promise that he made to him uh, back in, was it 2017? That if Tyson Fury comes back, he'll fight Manuel Char because Manuel Char ran up on him. Maybe. Or, or maybe this whole thing is just one big smoke screen to try and get Anthony Joshua to sign the contract. It could be that. It could be that. Maybe Tyson Fury is helping Manuel Char out with a bit of profile. 
which of course helps when you get people like me and other YouTubers talking about him. So anyway, that's Manuel Char. Good opponent, not in your life. Drop your thoughts below, click thumbs up, subscribe. Catch you next video.